So, you know that earlier I was saying that we might be looking at strikers in Europe uh, around a 1.5 million. Well, a name popped up and he fit the bill. Hello and welcome to this video. If you could like, share and subscribe to the channel, I'd much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's face and subscribing let me know you like like the channel and also we are on the road to 4k so keep it going this will help massively as well so let's just get this window resized the minute so i can see it so darren wickop has said that he that went shepherd went in the last palmer striker soy caber in fear they could be priced out for or both uh so cabell K, let's have a look. K Bar, who is free to leave the La Liga club, has interest for a number of championship clubs as well. So there's a fear we might get priced out of um Obo, which is something we kind of thought was the case. So Soya K K Kaba, I think that's how you say it, is 1.5 million. He had 17 appearances, one goal, one assist. Not great. He's a centre forward. Uh, I think he's from Guinea. Um, here's the thing. He's been at, <laughs> guess where he's playing? Cardiff City. 1st of January 2023. So where? who knows a bit more about this lad? Of course, the person who is our head of recruitment, who worked at Cardiff City during that time. Let's have a look what he did while he was there in the championship. I think that'll help us a lot to find out a little bit more about him and how he played. So that is this season. Uh, this, is, this is the thing I've got, right? You've got a player here who's had some Champions League times. At Cardiff, he played 17 times. Eight goals. Is that eight goals? Yep, eight goals and one assist. So he did find the back of the net. He's the number one of players that 1.5 million makes sense. Did even though it's saying that they fear they could be priced down. That's the thing. That's the thing. It says could be priced out. It doesn't say we have been. It says we could be priced out of him. And here's the thing. This is someone who obviously uh, Kevin Beadle's managed to get before. Uh, his contract runs out in January, June 30th, 2027. So he's got another year on his contract, 26. Another year or two on his contract. Uh, no, he's got another two years on his contract. It's kind, of, kind of thing. So we will have to see what happens. He is 1.5 million. He fits that bracket of us looking for a striker. And this is the thing that I think you've got to be really smart with. If we can get him to do the goal output he did with uh, Cardiff and then some, it's worth looking into it. Big, strong striker by the looks of it. Hopefully there's something in this. We do need to start looking at things like this. And as much as we want Ugbo to come back, we got the thing is that if we're priced out, we look elsewhere. That is just the nature of how you go about it. You literally try and go elsewhere and see where you can figure out what the best value is. He's 28, uh, so he's a little bit older than some might want. But at the same time, he's got championship experience. That is something, the first thing that everyone will say. Has he got championship experience? Yes. Um, when he was at most of the clubs, he has scored goals. Uh, he best. Bell was at FC Maryland, I think that's it, where he got 27, uh, 24. There's, I think there's only a couple of Bell where he's not really good that much. Uh, La Palmas, he got two. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here. I'm intrigued to see how this goes. Again, it's another one of these things. If, if you're looking at what got said earlier about looking at a 1.5 million striker, he is a 1.5 million striker. He fits that kind of thing that we might be looking at. So let's see what happens. This could be a quite a busy week coming up. 
You've got Owls in the Park. You've got uh, Shirt Possibly. You've got Danny back. You've got Player back. Maybe there's something in this. Let's see. Um, the journey is quite credible as well. So there's that to it as well. So we'll see where we line up. But you know what? It's exciting times. Because if this pays off, then fantastic. And it's cheap. It's cheap. And I know some people will be like, oh, well, you've gone for the cheap option. But if you can get something for 1.5 million who can score goals, you're not going to really complain. And especially if somebody like comes in for him. I think the only issue you've got to have is if he is someone who comes in uh, and he say he get picked for his national team. Um, you have to kind of go, okay, if you get picked for his national team, if they, like, if he, like, say, if he did really well, um, he recently played for his national team in 2020, 2017. So he's not been picked in a long time, a long, long time. So there's that. But if he did, you'd probably lose him around January time because of Akons. So we'll see what happens. But what do you think? The name is again so 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 Soya Kaba. Soya Kaba. So let me let me know what you think. Uh and yeah, he could be one of the players we're looking at.